wetu mimi na B1.0 pia tuli tembelea eh, soko kubwa la Gikomba mm. na kukutana na B1 Jeno Moyo ndio ambaye anafanya kazi yake ya kuuza mitumba kule mm -hmm. na anasema moyo kuchotwa kama Ndiyo. unajua unajua <laughs> <laughs> lakini haikuwa mwisho wa biashara yeah. aliinuka na anaendelea kunawiri tu mm. katika biashara zake mm. na ndiye ambaye tunamwangazia katika makala makala yetu, yetu ya kwanza ya sauti ya mama karibu Chukua mikosi mingi tu uvumilivu bidii ukakamavu na kilio kwa maulana kumpa nguvu ya kujikokota kutoka katika kidimbu cha misukosuko katika biashara na maisha yake hivi majuzi ndo aweze kusimama tena na kuanza upya biashara yake nilianza about five years ago na nilianza kama nimeajiliwa lakini Mungu akanifikisha pale nimefikisha nikakuwa sasa mimi ndio mwenye biashara si ati ni kazi rahisi nimeanguka mara nyingi just before covid nilipoteza kila kitu kuna wakati ilifika nikakuwa siko vizuri kifedha ki na nikapoteza mali nyingi sana na nikafunga duka zote and then covid ikakuja covid ilipokuja sasa tukakuwa pia serikali imefunga mizigo so hatuna mizigo nimechotwa sina nini but uh, ile kitu naweza elezea watu ni ukianguka you have to drive again Jeno Moyo anafahamu fika umuhimu wa kuweka akiba ili mradi kidogo na kuwekeza katika biashara tofauti kwa wakati ili moja likianguka basi uwe na njia nyingine ya mapato. As a woman I went through a lot because I also lost my marriage but it never stopped me from working hard and from looking for another solution of feeding my babies. Something I learned any extra coin counts. It doesn't matter where how small it is where it is coming from but every extra coin count for me it was an extra income because later the government wali turudishia wali tufungulia mtumba sasa nika ndio nikaelewa kumbe naweza kuwa napata hapa kidogo na napata hapa kidogo and at the end of the day when you compare notes it is not like the way i used to be Mama huyu sasa anafurahia matunda ya jasho lake huku akitoa himizo kwa wanaonuia kuanzisha biashara kwanza na kidogo walichonacho. I have been able to engage with so many women who have lost jobs and I have a program where I inspire them. They come for training here and we I, I encourage them to start as small as they can. There are those who start with bills, there are those who start with collecting a few pieces for selling. That one has taught me a lot because wale wengi wanakuja ni mtu ameatishwa leo, hajui kesho atakula nini ataendelea wapi. 